Hey everybody, Lean Eater here. If you want to cut sugars or carbohydrates from your diet without spending a ton on sweeteners, then you are in the right place. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple sweetener blend, which will be very versatile and easy to use and will save you a ton of money. I understand it is hard to find a good versatile sweetener, which doesn't make a dent in your pocket. Indeed, even if you account for the difference in sweetness amount, you still are paying dozens or more for the equivalent amount of sugar if you buy the sweeteners. And if you do find a good sweetener, which is cheap, it's usually a very concentrated one. So it's hard to use in your recipes because even a small amount would be too much. And that's why today I'm very glad to have this opportunity to teach you how to make a very simple blend of sweeteners, which will be very versatile and easy to use. You can use it to sweeten your drinks or even in your recipes, sauces, soups, dishes, even in baking. And what's best, it's only going to be about 70% more expensive than the equivalent amount of sugar wood, which is in stark contrast to what's available in the stores. A real game changer if you're on a budget. Now, before we begin, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you'll be the first one to know when I release another keto recipe video. With that out of the way, let's get cooking. Prepare a container large enough to fit the amount of sweetener blend you want to make. First ingredient is going to be erythritol, which will be the base for the sweetener blend. It is 80% as sweet as sugar, and I'm going to add 1 kg here. You can use more or less according to the amount of sweetener you want to make. Now we need to add a concentrated powdered sweetener in the right proportion. I'm going to add 9 grams of sucralose, which is 600 times as sweet as sugar. That will work out to create a blend that is 5 times as sweet as sugar in the end. Mix your concentrated sweetener into erythritol so it's completely covered. You can use other concentrated powdered sweeteners you personally prefer, like stevia or monk fruit, but you will have to adjust the amounts accordingly. For example, if your sweetener of choice is 300 times as sweet as sugar, you will have to put 18 grams here, and so on. By the way, you can make blends of higher or lower concentrations. But I find that blends more concentrated than 5 times as sweet as sugar don't really work that well, and less concentrated blends will cost you more to make, so 5 times is a perfect sweet spot here. And now you seal the container and give it a very good mix and shake, like this. You tilt it in every direction and you make sure that the sweeteners inside are completely well intermixed into an even consistency so that no matter where you scoop, you will get an even sweetness all over. You do it for about one minute. It's better to overmix here so that you get a complete even blend of sweeteners. Kind of like this. That should be enough. And there you have it. Now you have a versatile zero calorie sweetener. You can use to sweeten your drinks, your favorite dishes. You can even make soups, sauces, or even baking. Of course, it won't be a one-to-one -one substitute because it's five times as sweet as sugar and it doesn't caramelize like sugar would. So you will have to adjust your baking recipe for this sweetener to work. Thank you very much for joining me today. I do regular cooking and eating streams on Twitch where I cook and eat tasty healthy food. So check that out, you can watch me live and have a chat with me there. And before you go, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, so that you will be the first one to know when I release another keto recipe video. And then check out this playlist right here for more keto recipe videos that you will definitely enjoy. I love you all and see you all again real soon.